Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Build It here at the Quarry Build. This is episode 3, and we continue to build here and continue to figure out what exactly we're doing here. Got a decent start in regards to the layout, or at least the size of this place. But as we come in here through the front door, you can see how that edge is going to be really cool with the windows and adding in that extra space here leading into the hallway I think that was needed just for the extra space and as we come down the hallway here and into this area which I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna use it for it's a large space in fact we even have extra space down below that I could possibly build into so that's an option but most of this I know this hallway this too will be all glass on the edge there and I'm gonna keep this side rock area because I think that's kind of cool. So maybe have the roof or the ceiling go right into the rock there. And then as we come back in here, I think uh, this area here will probably be kitchen. And then out here will be living room, maybe a bathroom, I'm thinking there. It's kind of an odd space, just the way it's laid out. A lot of corners edges and it's gonna be a lot of window but I definitely think coming in this front door and seeing this view out these huge windows this is a good spot to have like the living room I had many thoughts about the bedroom but I am thinking let's get some clear weather here real quick let's see a little better okay I haven't thought too much about the bedroom I'm thinking maybe on the upper level, maybe a second level, have the bedroom up there. Also taking advantage of the view. And uh, as I said, I think the kitchen down here is probably the best idea. So first thing I wanna do, I wanna start cleaning up some of those edges or walls. And I'm gonna use some of that marble marble stairs I'm not sure what mod this came from because once again this is one of these mods that once you upload or once you add it everything is just thrown in this one huge list of stuff so I there's no way to tell which one it's from it's very difficult I think this is my only option as far as trying to clean off this wall. I could have that go up, but I think what I want to do is I want to clean up this edge here. Just at a slight angle, like that other wall, kind of like I was saying. Then it, uh, it blends in more. There we go. Something like that. And by doing this, I can keep those little boulders and junk right there, which I think will, will be pretty cool. And I'd like to add some lights. So that'll add kind of a cool shadow effect, I would think. Uh, so I'll probably keep that. Um, and that will lead in there. And I'll do something here too. I'll probably, I'll probably put in a door, I'm thinking some kind of door. Now unfortunately, as you can tell, this is really tedious having to quap tilt each one of these objects in, but that's the only problem with majority of these is I can't grab the item with the quap tool if it's on something else like, you know, my wood scaffolding or, you know, things like that. It will, it'll start grabbing other things and I'm not able to grab it. So it's just much easier to go all the way up onto solid ground and grab it. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. It, as I said, it's very tedious and time consuming, but I found it's the only way I can really grab things and get things to work the way I want. Definitely takes a lot longer, but uh, it's kind of my only option at this point. So I'm just gonna try and blend these in here to try and make it look as seamless as possible so I'm not adding too much 
stuff where it's noticeable. So I think that will fit in fairly well. And then as we come in here, figure out how to deal with that little section there. I'll probably angle the wall as we come in. Just create a hallway, another hallway into here. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to keep adding some of these in here. We'll speed build these real quick and then uh, I'll come back. thing I want to do I'm going to start adding in some of these windows so I got to get these windows and this is a good example here of how long it takes to scroll through this one uh, area that has all the mods it seems like all the mods from different mod makers are kind of dumped into this one area and there's so many it takes forever this is as fast as I can scroll through as you can see it's very slow and there's a lot of these so and of course I know that the windows are towards the end so I have to scroll all the way through so because it takes uh, I'm gonna speed this up here okay because it takes so long usually what I'll do especially with the windows and uh, some of the wall pieces that are towards the end of this long list I'll just make an inventory of these windows off somewhere like I'm doing here. Just do a bunch of these. I can't do too many because I have found in one of my other builds that I had a massive amount of built up windows and things like that just kind of stored like this uh, that I can use later. And I think it was just too much in one area and it kind of glitched out so I try not to add too many but I definitely want to add enough to where I can maybe take care of what I'm thinking which is adding in some of these windows I've been waiting to do this I really was excited to see how it's gonna look I can see already that this one's gonna be a problem because it's not long enough and if I double up the windows then Part of the windows are a little darker and not as clear and it's pretty noticeable so I'm gonna have to figure out if I add something on the corner out here or maybe by the hallway. I think maybe by the hallway it makes more sense. So what I'll do, I'll grab another window here. And that's always a dilemma when it comes to a lot of these is uh, I can't adjust size of the windows or width, which would be nice, but that definitely won't happen on the PlayStation at least. Just have to figure out creative ways to cover up, in this case, the gap between the hallway and the window. But as far as this corner area here, I think it's important to have it butt up against window to window rather than having a big pole there. Although if I had a pole in the corner, See, that looks pretty clean there. It looks pretty cool in the corner. Let's line this up here just a little bit better. That should be good. I like it already. It's gonna be cool. 
But as you see over here by the hallway, we got this gap here. You're gonna have to figure out how to fill that or find some objects, maybe some poles or beams or, um, you know, pillars or something like that to maybe fill that hole. I could move the hall, the hallway a little wider so it matches up, but that's a lot of work and I'm not sure if I can grab all that with the quapa now that it's already set in. So it might be easier just to figure out something on that end there. So I'm gonna keep dropping in the windows here and speed these up. Yeah. As I said before, I think uh, I'm going to try and add a post in there. See how much space I can gain or add or cover up using one of these metal posts or beams. I don't know if I want to go round. Probably just do this square one, which is pretty standard. I use this a lot. It's not exactly the color I want, but I don't really have a choice. So we'll grab this thing bring it down there and see how that works. I'm gonna put the pole here on the corner just to give me a little more extra. When I put that next window in, I want it to kind of line up with the edge a little more. And I think by putting this in, it'll give me a little more space, but I think it, it looks better too to have a sturdier pull on the corners. It's getting really choppy. Uh, move that in just a little, just so it lines up just with the window. It's not perfect, because I would like to have the windows right on the edge and have majority of the marble edge on the outside, but I'll have to make do with this. I wonder if I should add one in the corner. Just to give me a little more space so when I do fill this gap here, it's not as big. Still not sure what I'm gonna do there. I guess I could double up the windows, but I can already tell it's not gonna line up. It's gonna be a little bit wider so then I don't know, it's gonna look odd. And I could put a wall in there, but it kind of defeats the whole reason why I put the windows in, because I want to, you know, want a clear view of this whole thing from this room. So I want to have all window, I, I definitely know that. So, I have to figure something out. But I definitely like the pole. And hopefully when I put this next window in, it will line up with that other wall. And who knows how long that one is, but let's lay these in real quick.
Okay, got the windows in and I think I'm gonna drop in a wall on the edge here on this last one. I don't think we need glass on this one. Since this is gonna be the entryway, I think it might, it might make more sense to add the wall in here. It'll also allow me a little more leeway. I'm gonna move that up. Might have to use two walls for this. Just so it reaches the top. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do more than one wall or have this, the ceiling is gonna be off. Unless I just put it into the windows, I might just do that. As I was saying, adding this wall in, I think it works better as an entryway rather than having that all glass. I think there's enough glass in this room, but I think that will work. We'll figure out something to do with that little triangle chunk there for the entryway. Maybe some kind of tile or something. The room's definitely taken shape and I definitely like the glass. I want to add in some of this just, uh, if, you know, for the ceiling. I was going to do, um, you know, like institute floor pieces or something like that. That nice clean white. But for this, I think it would make more sense. It'd be a little more interesting and would fit in a lot better if I use some of this marble. And I'm gonna use the flatter stairs and just use the bottom of this. Maybe I can just use a bunch of these and clean up the edge here. Kind of figure out what I'm doing with this. and line this up get a little bit of a lip or an edge right about there that's already looking better because now oh, that's a little too far out let me move this in might have to re-grab it but it definitely looks more like it's built into the quarry and that's what I want so I think this is definitely the way to go is using these stairs so why don't we put some more of these in and see what it looks like And some windows here in the hallway kind of figure out and then we'll be able to clean up this one as well by adding in some of these marble pieces or marble stairs above and then be able to get a good sometimes these are hard to line up my joystick is jumping all around that'll work uh, line these up so 
when I do put the marble pieces in, I think it'll, I just want to see what that looks like when those are all in and clean from the front. It also will close in, give me a better idea of the whole, the whole place. So let's keep putting these in and uh, I'll be, I'll be right back. in or electricity so I'm gonna drop in my wireless uh, electricity generator thing and I'm trying to find a good spot to put this I need to find a spot that I I can access because what's happened in the past is I put these and I hide them and then later on as the build gets larger and larger sometimes the lights go out or I have no power to certain things, just kind of a glitch when it's loading or something like that. And the best way to fix that or attempt to fix it is to turn that on or off or, you know, replace it. And sometimes I forget because the build gets so big, I forget where I actually install that wireless thing. So I begin to maybe make a certain spot or actually have like an electrical room where I actually put that in there and use it as part of the build. That way I don't lose track of where it's at. I'm not really digging that glitch there, but I'm not sure if I have to reset that one. Might have to. It's kind of driving me nuts. So. Or do I even need it? Can't tell why I had that in there. Maybe it's that covering. Maybe that was covering the back area. I'm just gonna take it out for now. And we'll just keep building. try some here. I'm going to see if I can quap a tilt some of these pieces so I can use that back side but either vertical or you know flip it entirely just because I need a larger chunk. Um, I know this is going to be a pain because when you try and quap a tilt I'm going to find my 
Usually I use the bread box, but I'm looking for something else. I don't think I have any find something, but I'm gonna quapa tilt these and try and get the right angle so I can use them to cover up some of that. Okay, quapa tilt didn't go as well as I planned. I'm gonna have to think through that one a little bit more. But as you can see, it's already cleaned up pretty good um, as far as using these marble stair pieces. And I think it's, I think it'll work. I'm gonna have to use a lot of these because I can already tell there's lots of spots that I need to fill up. And quapa tilting those in will probably be the best way. So we're gonna try this here. See if we can't get this tilt just right. And like I said, the whole thing about this quapa tilt, and it's a real pain and very touchy, but it's all about getting the right angle. Cause once you flip it or invert it or you know do your quapa, it has to be that same angle where you're putting it. Cause once you start moving it around, it loses that uh, angle. So as you'll see when I when I place it in, it gets pretty hard to get very precise with this. And I think with the qu whole quarry thing, I don't think it'll matter too much, but I definitely need, you know, to use the right side. So I try and go at things at the angle I need. Because once I start turning, it's going to rotate the stairs. So I try not to turn. I just move forward and backwards and up and down, but I don't turn left or right because that's going to throw off the angle of that. And I want to use this to kind of close in that roof piece. I'll probably set this, go to exit. I'm not going to detach yet. See how that looks. It's gonna be hard to line up because I can't see that outer edge. Move it over. Maybe back. So the idea is I wanna try and finish off these tops so it doesn't look like stairs. So I'll move this one over. This one's probably the easiest to take care of first. not bad right there. Maybe up a little. There we go. That should be good. Okay. Jump down here. That's not bad. You can't really tell. And it also cleans off the top. So we said we do some more of these uh, and try and finish off that top area. As you can see here, it's already starting to look a lot better and it is good that we're in the quarry and it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want to see stairs because then to me they look like stairs. Rather see big blocks of marble, almost like it's cut out of the rock. So we'll keep going on this, covering up more of these and see if we can just build this up towards the top.
to close a lot of those in and we'll add some more top marble pieces to them as we go on. But as you see, it's building up and it looks pretty good. I think it looks like it's cut into the rock. Maybe chunks of marble have been taken out uh, and left with this. So that's exactly what I was hoping for. And I think it will definitely look, once it's all built in, and all these pieces are added in, it, it will definitely look like it's cut into the rock a lot more. Even though I built it out, I think by adding in the marble up top, and I really wish I had a marble wall piece to cover that. I just wanna see all marble. I don't wanna see any uh, you know finished wall from the outside. We'll keep going on this. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of marble stair pieces on different angles and things like that. So it's gonna it's gonna take a while, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. So we'll keep going on this next time. But as far as this one goes, I'm gonna cut it out here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And until next time, keep building.